it okay if I try to steal her from him? Yes, please do, because this is your route. Hello, Roma. This is Romy here. Welcome back to Fujiwara Bittersweet. We're here with Haru's route. Takun has uh, entered his room. <laughs> That's probably something indecent. I mean, that position was rather indecent. Again, in my room. Seriously, guys, you have like the whole house, including more intimate spaces like the bathroom. And actually, wait, Maya's bedroom. You decided to do your thing, things here, you pervs? H hey! <sighs> Again, it's not what you're thinking. By the way, who are you? This is the first time Maya's brought a boy home. Ah, it's Haru. I knew this annoyed Sierra's face was familiar. Man, I'm sure wasn't lying when she said you turned into a super duper cute boy. Thank you, I guess. Anyway, next time, make sure not to do your whatever you were doing in my room, okay? I'm glad I inherited more from your father than your mother. Sounds like an insult. Is that an insult? It's not an insult, it's a statement. She did inherit the teasing side of mom too, though. She hasn't tried it on you yet. Affirmative. I'm still wondering why. What? What do you mean? <laughs> you never teased me. Well, yes, because you're too serious and I know it will piss you off. Who knows? I know. <laughs> because you look like you want to throw yourself out the window every time Ichiko teases you. Ichiko is on another level. Her way of teasing people is just pure torture. You're exaggerating. Barely. Anyway, good choice in that game. It's my favorite. We're about to stop. Really? Too bad. I wanted to play it too. On a second thought, it's okay. Now, now that you're here, let's continue. <laughs> we played a bit longer like that with me jumping on Takuna every and any possible moment until Haru decides to go back home and narrowly avoid Mom's offer to, for him to stay for dinner. October, October 11th. The days passed and I recover in time for the school sports festival. Are you sure you're completely fine? Yes, don't worry. I have had plenty of time to recover. Are you really sure? I told you yes, jeez. I look at him a bit concerned. He seems paler than usual and rather tired. You, on the other hand, you don't look so well. I might have overdone it a bit with my workout exercises, that's all. Still trying to grow some muscles, huh? I wonder why, since not so long ago, you were still pretty obsessed with not looking too manly. It's for the event. Sure. <laughs> anyway, what do you mean by overdue? Aren't you following the workout program I wrote up especially for you? I thought it wasn't enough. Of course it's enough. It was made especially for your build. Well, sorry for being a small guy. I don't have a model's physique like yours. Oh, what do we have here? Jealous Hachan. Cute. Shush you. Jealous or not, don't overdo your personalized workout regimen. It might be really dangerous. Yes, yes. I'm serious, Haru. Stopping careless is your health after all. I'd really appreciate it if you stopped scolding me. If you don't want to be scolded, then follow your program more closely. Alright, alright. Good. I chuckle amused by this ex exchange. You tell you sound like a dad scolding his kid. That's funny. I thought you'd be a good father. Yo, we mentioned fucking Haru as a kid again, though. A good father? I'm not so sure about that. Yo, he has father issues, guys. But we don't know that in this route. We don't. Yes, I doubt you'd be good at it. Hey, Haru, what do you mean by that? Hmm. Are you sulking? Man, you're so much more childish now. You were acting like a cool and mature lady before, and now you just look like a spoiled and capricious... Capricious? Little prince. That's really disturbing and funny. I'm not childish at all. Yes, you are. Maybe he's still a bit confused about how he has to act in front of others. Don't assume things, Mr. Perfect. I don't need your opinion here. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Harry, stop being rude to Utah. He didn't do anything to you. I'm going into the toilet. See you. He abruptly stands up and walks towards the corridor. Wait! But it leaves without waiting for me. Oh no, is it because of me? It's always because of you, Utah. I'm so sorry. Nah, he's just really sensitive. But he seems angry at me. I bet it's not for the reason you're thinking it is. A different reason? He looks at me and I tilt my head to the side. N nothing. He probably let him go into the toilets and went to pout in the library instead. You should go see him, Aya. Me? Why me? He would be even more pissed if it's either me or Utah. You might have a point. Okay, I'll go see him. At this hour of the day, the room is almost empty and it's not difficult to spot her right away. Found you. <laughs> Jeez, you startled me. Yeah, I know. I did that on purpose. What do you want? I was running why you left so suddenly. That's... Because I'm angry at myself. I basically ran away from you guys because I didn't want you to judge me. Like we told you already, we... 
are my friends and not here to judge me. I know, I know, but I can't help it. I guess it's just a part of me, constantly doubting myself and being paranoid about people might, what people might think of me. You know, that Yuto feels the exact same way about himself. He'd be the last one to judge you for your actions, and if he ever does, it's probably because he's worried about you. I know, he's a nice guy, but that's also precisely the reason that I can't help but consider him both my friend and enemy. Your enemy? Do you remember that girl I mentioned? The one who's special to me? Oh, yes! Oh my god. <laughs> I started my heart aches a bit, hearing him talking about it. I don't like that. I think she likes Yuta. Really? Yes, and Yuta seems to have developed something for her too. Oh god! <laughs> Are you... They aware of each other's feelings? Not yet, so is it okay if I try to steal her from him? Yes, please do, because this is your route. I guess if neither of them already declared their feelings to each other, they aren't going out, so it's not like you were trying to make her cheat on him or something, right? Hey. Hey, Alia. Hmm? Will you help me make this special girl fall in love with me? Yeah, painfully so, because my girl doesn't know that you're talking about us. It's, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Why? Because it would make me sad and lonely is what I would like to answer, but I can't. I have to support him as a friend. Because wouldn't it be less rewarding if you don't accomplish it by yourself? The reward would be that she has feelings for me, so no, it wouldn't feel less rewarding. I, I see. I'll try my best then. Thank you. What do you want me to do? Let's see. First, give me some self-confidence for praising me. Yuta's full of qualities, but I can't find any for myself. Qualities? You're cute. <laughs> Is that even a quality? I think so, yes. Maybe. I mean, Yuta's handsome, but you're cute. So... But some guys don't want to be called cute. Sometimes they want to be called handsome. Like how I'm always constantly called cute, but sometimes, you know, I want to be called sexy. Not all the time, but you know. <laughs> it's the same thing. You're not sure. At least it is for me. I like looking at you. You're like a work of art. Weird. <laughs> Sorry. He gets closer and smiles a little at me. But I don't mind if it's you telling me that. Oh my god, you're cute. Oh. What else? You care about people. You know how to question yourself when you think you're wrong. Well, you're not always honest, though. That's a flaw. I don't know, I like that side of you too. In fact, I also like what you consider your flaws. So, is there really a point for me to list your good qualities? Yes, I need it. Mm, it's difficult. I like everything about you. Everything. Yes, absolutely everything. Alright, alright, I got it. I think you can stop there then. <laughs> You're blushing. I poke him a little on the cheeks with my fingers. Cutie. Stop it already. Wait, but like, you look so happy though. <laughs> I can't help it. You're too cute. Cute. You're actually teasing me. Isn't this the first time? Ah, you're right. I didn't even notice. Does it bother you? It's okay. But maybe another time. The bell rings soon and we should go back to the classroom. He stands up, extends his hand to help me stand as well, and surprisingly pulls me towards him without any difficulties. Since when were you this strong? It surprised me too. I was expecting him to pull you up so easily. Probably the result of Yuta's workout program. Probably. <sighs> Stupid heart. I'd like you to stop beating so fast. What if Haru hears you? Good, that means I might be in good shape, uh, good enough shape for the sports festival. I didn't suffer in vain, but that's great news. Yeah. Time passes and said sports festival is finally here. How are you feeling, guys? I'm good. Same. What about you, Yuta? Nervous as heck? <laughs> It'll be okay. Don't worry, Mr. Prince. I poke him in the sides and he pats my hat. What are you trying to comfort? What? what? Are you trying to comfort me? How cute. Thanks, Aya. Uh-oh. <laughs> we raise our eyes to see Haru, who seems rather annoyed. Stop fooling around. You should focus on the event. What? We still have time before it starts. Yeah, relax, Hachan. By the way, did anyone see Ichiko? Ryu! It's so weird to see Ryu in, like, this route. It's been a while since we've seen him. I saw her with her boyfriend earlier. I jumped in on their convo and it was fun. Oh, Ryu! Hi! Still appearing out of nowhere like a ghost, I see. Wait, she's already dating... Uh, Hazuki? A ghost. Heh, <laughs> it's been a long time since someone called me that. Wait, what? Boyfriend? Ichiko has a boyfriend? Yeah, that one funny giant from her club. Oh, Hazuki. Yeah, that guy. Since when? I don't know, I think they've been all the lovey-dovey since about two months ago. I had no clue. Sorry, Mr. Yutada, but if I may interrupt you, I personally think that if Ichiko hasn't told anyone of... 
Yes, yes, Mr. Perfect. You can stop talking like that when I'm around. I know your little secret, you know? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. Yo, Ryu is mad scary. I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be near Ryu right now. He, like, knows everything about anybody. Oh, Iki. <laughs> Ryu, stop bothering people. Hey, I'm not bothering them. I'm talking about the friends. The one who... The ones who talked about their anime figure collection. Yeah. By the way, do you think they've already done it? You, what the fuck? Done what? You know, sexy stuff and gloomy sex. What? Yo, Iki! <laughs> Iki's so cute. How should I know? And I don't even care. Nah, but really, he's so tall and she's so tiny. Don't you think it may be a problem? I'm genuinely concerned about it. We just thought, go away. That's rather inappropriate. I would rather you not bring up that topic so casually. Oh, come on, Mr. Prince. Don't give me that. We both know that you aren't you are so innocent yourself. Just saying. But man, I bet that Hazuki guy has a rather... <laughs> Ryo, stop. What the fuck? <laughs> has a rather big thing between his legs, yeah? Hey, let's stop about... Th let's stop about that, Ryu. Ah, look. Speak of the devil. They're coming this way. I look in their direction, try my best not to look embarrassed. Yo! Hi! <laughs> Hazuki. <laughs> hey, we were talking about what you discussed earlier, and the boys seemed interested. What? Oh, really? Cool, do you guys have one too? He's talking about the figures, right? Right? <laughs> I'm sure they have the other thing too. <laughs> I, I, I think, I hope, or something happened in the way. I don't. M mine is a small one. I look at them blushing hard. Yep, this is embarrassing. <laughs> like, he is so fucking cute. <sighs> he is so cute. Iki, oh my god. I feel so bad that he's ranked so low. But it's just because he's being up against all these other like amazing characters. This is embarrassing, really awkward. Hang in there, guys. We all know you aren't talking about something else. Probably. Really? <laughs> I'm rather proud of mine. It's made again from a limited collector's edition. I can show you anytime you want. Okay, I'm off. Bye. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I don't hear anything. <laughs> sure, I'd be really happy to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless. Guys, you're weird. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's go. Eat your event is about to start. Yeah, right. Bye, Iki. Ah, it's our event too. Let's go. Yep. <sighs> I had to hold my breath in for Iki. Because every time I see him, it's just like a wound in the heart. <laughs> and I leave like nothing happened. That guy trained all my energy with just words. He really is worse than Ichigo. He does know about me. I'll talk to him about it later. Yeah, don't let it bother you during the event, okay? Yeah, let's do our best for the event. Yes, let's. Ugh. <laughs> I'm mentally drained after that conversation. The event passed and we did our best. Haru is particularly impressive and I can finally take the time to praise him when it all is finished. Haru, good job. Thank you, you too. You really did well impressed. It's all, it's thanks to you, sorry. I don't think I would have made it without all the exercise. Good then. In any case, let's go change back into our uniforms and go home. You turn Haru head to the boys' room, and I go to the girls' one. Then I go back to the classroom to get my bag. They're still not done. I'll sit here and wait for them, then. I sit at my desk and bury my head in my arms. I'm so sleepy. I doze off a few seconds before falling completely asleep not so long after. What is this soft sensation on my lips? What the fuck? Oh my god. Is Haru kissing me? Wait, what? I slowly open my eyelids with some difficulty to see Yuta laying on the desk right in front of me. Uh, Yuta? Good morning. Did Yuta kiss me? Wait, this is a problem. <laughs> Have I been asleep for a long time? You were asleep when I came here, I think for about 10 minutes. I see, where's Haru? He checked on you first, but I bumped it. Wait, Haru came in here first? <laughs> He checked on you first when I bumped into the teacher who wanted to talk to him. I came here to deliver the message, but he's still in the teacher's office. Wait, you've been here for 10 minutes in that position? 
Yep, staring at sleep for 10 long minutes. Are you serious? Don't do that, it's embarrassing, jeez. Uh, uh. <laughs> but you know, you're really cute when you're asleep. Oh, thanks. I'm here. Her pots behind you to impose on his cheek. And you stop moving your stupid mouths and saying unnecessary things to her when I'm not around. It hurts, Hachan. Serves you right. Yo, who kissed me? <laughs> Without my consent. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. This is a wild, uh, wild route, to be very honest with you guys. Haru has not topped my first spot with Yuta. He is the second spot. But we have yet to see Kenji and Riku. So I'm very stressed to fuck out with this rating. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.